So what we what we do here. So what we see here is that how do you give the indices to a direction? We call them as Miller indices. You will be naming them as U, V, and W. We put them under square brackets. So U, V, W is the standard naming convention. This will be U, this will be V, this will be W. And we put them under square brackets. So the basic way to do that, I will, I will again explain before we move forward here, that you consider the origin onto the direction here. Then the second point is suppose here, and we see that what is the intercept <coughs> of this now on the other, on the axis here. So when you talk about the right hand coordinate system, you have X, y is already written here you have z and by right hand coordinate system this is plus x this is plus y this is plus z <coughs> so obviously then this is minus x this direction is minus x this one so what we observe here is that the point here the other point is if it is shown here somebody asked me that uh, why you take the origin to be on the on the direction. Who asked that? Is, is the person here or no? Can, 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 can you hear me or is it not audible? Abhishek Kumar. Abhishek Kumar. Abhishek Kumar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So can you hear me? So somebody asked yes, me that uh, why do you place the origin onto the onto the direction to give it a name? I can call this is the name of the direction here. We do it just to it's a method by which we actually give indices to the or give naming to the directions. <coughs> the basic concept of direction is that uh, you are actually concerned about the projection of this. If you this vector and said you are concerned about the projection of this vector on the three coordinate three axes here. So you are concerned about the projection of this vector on the x, y, and z axis. So that is what we observe here. So when you take this vector here, so its projection on the y axis happens to be plus one. So it is plus one b. It's on the x axis. It is minus one. So it is minus one a. And on the z axis, it happens to be in zero. So we say it is zero here. We then write it as minus one, one, zero. If it is in fractions, you need to convert it into uh, nearest integer, but it is already there. So one, then we write it as uh, minus one is written as one bar, one and zero. The commas are removed. So then it is written here as u, v, and w without commas. Now, this is the second one that I show another example here. So in this example, <coughs> what we see is, just a minute, let me remove this. So what we observe here is that <coughs> we are taking this vector here. So if this vector ends here, although in this it is shown here is two pointing, but I'll say I, it's ending here. So we consider the origin to be on the other end. Taking this again as x plus x plus y, this will be minus x, this will be plus z. So it's the second point is here. The intercept of this vector has to be calculated on the three axis or the other way to do that is that I consider this point and I talk about the coordinates of this point, coordinates of the head. So the coordinates of this point in terms of the x, y, z are <coughs> minus half. <coughs> Because this is the this is the origin here now. This happens to be the origin. So you moved minus half in x direction. Similarly, if this is plus y, this is minus y. So this is minus half in y direction, negative y direction, minus in terms of the lattice parameter that is constant. So this is the lattice constant b here. This is the lattice constant a here. In a cubic system, they are all equal. So they can all be <coughs> a, a, and a. 
and in z y say we have 1 it is in plus z so it is plus 1 so i gave it minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 convert it into integers it comes to as minus 1 minus 1 2 and we write it as 1 bar 1 bar 2 in square brackets without any comma any thing it is not clear here up to this point i already explained the reasoning why we do that because these directions are having different crystallographic information available with us if you talk about this system here if it was a simple cubic or cubic i system we said then the atoms are available here the second is here the third is here only at the corners only at the corners so the interatomic spacing is different when I talk about this direction, it is different along this direction. And that is why these two directions, which I'm saying here, are not crystallographically equivalent. I explained already the directions which are called as crystallographically equivalent directions, they are referred to as family of directions, which means that the <coughs> one reason which is there is that the interatomic spacing happens to be same along all those equivalent directions which is not the same along these two directions the, this one and this one they don't have that here it is if it is a this happens to be root 2a and this is a so there are differences here which we want to know and which you want to just really just give names to the directions here i hope it is clear to you aditya dvedi aditya dvedi लोगों को कुछ ऐसी है <coughs> अमित कुमार यस सर ओके कुछ समझ आ रहा है आपको कि ऐसे ही चल रहा है आई तो स्क्रीन फ्रीज नहीं हो रहा नो no. समझ आ रहा है सर हम्म <coughs> समझ आ रहा है सर यस सर समझ आ रहा है क्या समझ आया अभी बताएंगे थोड़ा सा ये क्या बताया कैसे डायरेक्शन का इंडिसेस कैसे निकालते हैं बताइए असाइनमेंट भी भेजूंगा मैं कोई भी करेंगे बट लेट अस सी that, क्या समझ आया आपको कि कैसे कर, कैसे करेंगे डायरेक्शन के बारे में मिलर इंडेक्सेस निकालने के लिए कैसे करेंगे हां वही कर रहा हूं यस सर एक्स डायरेक्शन को पहले देखेंगे कि वो जो वेक्टर है जो ये डायरेक्शन पहले, पहले तो पहले तो एक we normally take it as the tail of the direction vector. So origin ko pehle locate karna hai aapne. Yes sir. Origin, origin ko locate karna. Origin ko then. Phir x dekhenge ki wo x component kitna gaya. Haan. Phir y and then y z. And, z. and then the <coughs> coordinate system has to be kept the same. Ye change nahi kar sakte aap. Ye ek mein, maan nijay ek problem mein teen chaar direction aap se pooch li. To ek ke li to aapne plus kahi aur le liya. Wo dousre mein. नहीं ऐसे नहीं करेंगे। We will continue with the right hand coordinate rule, right hand thumb rule. ये yes. clear है? Yes sir. Right hand thumb rule क्या कहता है? बड़ा clear, simple rule है कि if your thumb is pointing towards the z positive and the fingers are curling towards the y positive, then the the fingers were actually curling to, to, to away from x positive. So that is how we are using it as plus x. Plus y and plus z, and then you'll have negative, negative, and negative also. Yes. Important, समझ आया आपको direction बताने का, क्योंकि properties जो हैं, they will be varying along direction in a crystal level. That is why हमें ये जरूरी जानना है कि इस direction को मैं क्या नाम दूँ? इसको क्या नाम देंगे आप मान लीजिए बताइए अगर आपको समझ आ गया तो, if I say this direction, can you see this? What will be this direction now? जो आपको अभी मैं draw कर रहा हूँ. अभी तो दिख रहा है आपको अभी दिखा नो सेकंड सर नो यस सर यस दिस या दिस डायरेक्शन ये कौन सा डायरेक्शन है जो आपको अभी दिख रहा है दिस वन द ओरिजिन इज आई ओके आई विल डू इट आई विल लोकेट द ओरिजिन फॉर यू आई लोकेटेड द ओरिजिन हियर ये ओरिजिन सर कैन यू नेम दैट पॉइंट दैट्स व्हाई आई कैन सी आई आई से द वेक्टर इज ए B. Okay. A B. 
तो वॉट इज दिस ए बी डायरेक्शन ए बी इन डायरेक्शन जो हमने दिखाई है इधर इसका क्या मिले रहने से जाए इसके ये दिख गया अभी ए बी दिख रहा है आपको यस सर ए दिखा ओके सो नाउ यू विल लोकेट द ओरिजिन ऑन ए ओरिजिन ओरिजिन ए पे आ गया आपका सो दिस इज ये कौन सा डायरेक्शन है प्लस कौन सा है बताइए प्लस एक्स ये यस सर ये प्लस वाई और ये है प्लस जेड आप इसके इंडिसेस बताएं कैसे निकालेंगे हम क्या होंगे तो देन जो जो बी पॉइंट के कोऑर्डिनेट बताएंगे ना बस बी पॉइंट का कोऑर्डिनेट बताओ क्या है ये जो बी पॉइंट है मैं दिखा रहा हूँ यहाँ पे इसके क्या कोऑर्डिनेट्स हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्लस वाई वाई प्लस प्लस वाई सर हाउ मच हाउ मच वाई वन वाई वन वन वाई वन वाई वाई तो बेटा एक्सिस है ना एक्सिस वाई नहीं लिखेंगे ना वी विल से प्लस वन इफ दिस इज ए आई विल से इट इज प्लस वन ए और इन वाई डायरेक्शन द इंटरसेप्ट हैपन्स टू बी प्लस वन ठीक है यस और एक्स डायरेक्शन में प्लस एक्स प्लस वन एक्स इस पॉइंट का इंटरसेप्ट क्या है एक्स डायरेक्शन में ये जो बी पॉइंट है बी पॉइंट के कोऑर्डिनेट्स क्या है वाई में आपने बता दिया प्लस वन एक्स में क्या है जीरो सर जीरो और जेड में क्या है ये भी जीरो है सर जीरो है ओके अनुज प्रेशर अनुज प्रेशर अनुज प्राशर लक्ष्य गोयल लक्ष्य गोयल यस सर ओके तो आर यू फॉलोइंग व्हाट वी आर डूइंग हेयर यस सर हैव वी डन इट राइटली और देयर इज समथिंग मिसिंग और समथिंग इज रॉन्ग Sir, according to me, it is right. Okay, then what shall be the Miller indices of this direction AB, which I mark there? Mm, Its key indices? What should be there? So one over one. One is there. This is zero. We are saying x is zero. Y is one. Z is zero. There is something which we are missing. We are not sure what why we are not able to follow that. Let me go back to where I started yesterday. <coughs> did we did did this yesterday? The slide is changing now. We did this yesterday. Lakshay Goel. यस सर कल क्लास लगाया था आपने कि नहीं लगाया था लगाया था सर लगाया था उसमें ये हमने डायरेक्शन वाला यस सर ओके इसमें क्या इसमें आप बताइए क्या क्या किया था हमने कैसे निकाले थे इसके हमने लिखा है वन जीरो जीरो सो व्हाट वी डिड इफ आई स्टार्ट विद दिस वन लेट एस ए वन ओनली वन हेयर सो द टेल ऑफ द वैक्टर इज टेकन एज द ओरिजन ये ओरिजन ले लिया आपने द कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम इज नोट टू यू प्लस वाई प्लस एक्स Plus Z. Plus so the other point is here. So what are the coordinates of this point? If I write this is A, this is B. So the B point has coordinates. What? Uh, X one. X one by zero. Y zero. Z zero. And the indices are just the one. coordinates of the other point. That is one zero zero. And we write it as one zero zero. Is that right? Yes. Similarly. Similarly, now I come back to my problem, which I was asking you just now. What about this direction? You will be making round. Let us say C D C D. So the vector is pointing here. So what? What will we do? Will be the origin now? It is taken as C. This will be the origin. So the coordinates of point D are now x, x and y D. and z are x is zero, what? zero, y is y is zero. 
No, this is the y then direction. One, 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 minus yes. one. Plus one. You need to write plus and minus very carefully because this is minus y. Plus one and z is zero. So the yes. indices will be zero, one, zero. Yes, sir. That right? Yes, sir. ओके okay, अगर इतना आपको फॉलो हो गया तो कैन आई से दैट वन जीरो जीरो एंड जीरो वन जीरो आर क्रिस्टेलोग्राफिकली इक्वलेंट इन ए क्यूबिक सिस्टम आर दे क्रिस्टेलोग्राफिकली इक्वलेंट यस सर वाय Because we said crystallography equivalent directions are those directions. If I start from let us say this direction zero one zero zero, one atom is here, the second atom is here. The interatomic spacing is just maybe a, the side of the unit cell. Same is the case in a cubic system for from C to D, because this is also a. There is no other atom in between that. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, परव बंसल परव बंसल यस सर आर यू फॉलोइंग व्हाट वी आर डूइंग यस सर ओके एनी कंफ्यूजन्स नो सर ओके देन लेट अस कम टू दिस आई गिव यू वन डायरेक्शन हियर सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन यस Uh, sir, the term crystallographic equivalent is valid only for cubic system. No, crystallographically equivalent directions is a term that we use for all the crystal structures, crystal systems even. What I mean to say is that in this case, in a cubic system, one zero zero and zero one zero is crystallographically equivalent. this may not be true for all the other systems this is what is the meaning in other systems it may not be true because if you recall tetragonal if you if you remember tetragonal what is that a yes, equal to b not equal not to c hai kuch yes, yes sir alpha beta alpha beta gamma kya hai sir 90 in a tetragonal one ha ah, yes in a tetragonal system alpha beta gamma is 90 degrees so the unit cell will be similar to this what you observe but only difference will be that c may not be maybe longer or maybe shorter aisa hi kuch hoga yes i i will i can draw it like this that if this is the tetragonal unit cell i say if this is a this is b this is c so a equal to b not equal to c yes sir now i cannot say that okay that this direction this the statement which we made just here that 100 and 010 these are crystallographically equivalent is this statement valid for tetragonal system also or it is invalid no sir it's invalid because the the right. length would be sir no, because no, no. Okay, look at it look at it carefully dhyan se answer dena abhi nahi ko samajh nahi aa raha iska matlab ye which is in this crystal in this now system in a tetragonal one which is the 100 direction यही है सेम वन जीरो जीरो यस सर यही है एंड विच इज द जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो इज दिस वन द राइट यस सर तो वन जीरो तो ये तो दोनों दे आर इक्वलेंट बट इफ आई से दिस डायरेक्शन नाउ ये डायरेक्शन में अगर लूं ये वाली नॉट इक्वलेंट दिस विल नॉट बी इक्वलेंट बट इन दिस केस इवन दिस विल बी इक्वलेंट इन अ क्यूबिक सिस्टम इवन दिस विल बी इक्वलेंट बिकॉज़ This is also equal to a. This is also equal to a. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks. I go to the, uh, uh, the other question now. Parv Bansal, sir, on him. Parv Parv Bansal. Yes. Come on. Come on, line. Switch on the mic. Parv Bansal. It's so jaa the yaar. Some log kya ho raha hai? Hello. Parv Bansal. Yes, sir. Yes. now come back to this question here so we are showing you this this direction now i will redraw it let us say the direction is now ce this one ce can you see that on the screen ce this is yes e. sir yes sir so which is the what are the indices of this direction now 
can we can you help me in that i will also help you but try to do it on your own so i will say this is plus y this is plus x this is the origin c is the origin this is minus x this is minus y this is plus z okay so what is ce indices of this plus 1 plus 1 so zero so i have to do i have to find the coordinates of point e is that right and yes. the coordinates of point e are if i say x y and z so from here i have e available here it is plus x plus 1 x so yes, x sir. is plus 1 y is plus 1 and z is 0 so this direction is 1 1 0 yes is that right now if you are following the discussion is this direction crystallographically equivalent to 1 0 0 no sir in a cubic system no it is not because here the interatomic spacing is not a if this is yes <coughs> simple cubic you have a uh, lattice point at root 2a if it is fcc just like it shown here you have a, you have something in between also root 2a by 2 also so this in both cases whether it is fcc or simple cubic 1 1 0 is not equivalent to 1 0 0 understand yes sir yes sir okay. okay let's move forward from here